So we are going to add a rollover button to our navigation. We currently have just a, a normal button image here in our navigation. Obviously, you will have made a button that will fit your actual navigation bar. I've just used a, a quick button to give you some demonstration here. So in order to get a rollover image, what we're going to do is we're going to click where we want it, so the, the position that we want it to go into. Then we're going to go up to Insert. We're going to come all the way down to HTML. And this has loads and loads of different things that you can choose in order to insert into your website. We're going to go somewhere near the bottom here where it says rollover image. And I'm going to press on that. And it's going to give me this little box. Now, it's going to ask me for an image name. It's really important that I don't put any spaces in this and I name it very clearly. So I'm going to say it is the home button. Sorry, it is the home page button. So I've given it a name. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it what I want the image to look like normally when the mouse isn't over the image. So I'm going to browse and I'm going to get my normal button. OK, and I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to browse for my rollover image. So I'm going to press browse and I'm going to pick my button hovered. So these are two very different, well, not very different, slightly different images that will allow me to create a hover over effect. I'm going to leave preload rollover image on. Alternate text, it's important that we use this for users who might have accessibility issues and need something re read out to them. And so we're going to say, we're going to call this the home page button. So it's very clear what this is, should it be read out by a screen reader or something. Now this, when clicked, go to URL. So this is a button that's going to take someone to somewhere in our website. And so what we want to do is we want to tell this to go somewhere. Now, I don't currently have a page for the home page. So I'm just going to type in home.html in this bar here. And I'm going to make a little mental note that when I do create my home page, it must be named home.html so that my link will work here. And I'm going to press OK. If it doesn't work, I can always change it later. Um, you don't have to put a link in straight away. You could always add a link in afterwards. But um, I like to set things up as I'm going so it's, it's easier to remember. So I'm going to press OK here. And that will have inserted my rollover image. Now, just like when we inserted the last image, this has come in really big and we're going to need to just manage this situation. So let's jump into the code just below here. You'll see the highlighted section is what it has inserted. And it looks a bit much, but it's not that, that much to worry about here. So we can see we've got here down in the bottom right, this image tag. So we've got the source of where it lives. We've got the alternative text that we just typed in, and we've got the width and the height. And so we need to change this width and height, just like we did on the last one. We're going to get rid of the width, and we're going to tell the height to just be 100% of its container. So whatever it's inside, it should be 100% of that. And now we're going to go to this table division. So we can see here that this is the end of our table division, that our button that our image is in. And we can see when we click on the end, the, the start has highlighted as well. So I can go to this start one and I can tell it that its height should equal 40. Doesn't matter if you put spaces before and after the equal sign, but it's good to keep it consistent. And I'm going to also tell it that the width should equal 20%. So now when I click in here, that will update it. And I've got a button that looks very similar to my other button. Okay, But if we go to design up here, and we swap to live view. At the moment, it's grayed out. I can't click on it. That's because I'm in expanded tables mode. You can see here, I've got expanded tables mode and an uh, option to exit. I'm going to press exit to come out of expanded tables mode. It's very helpful for when you're manipulating and moving tables, but we're going to come out of that and then we're going to jump into the live view. So this is our web page. It's not doesn't look like much. And we can see that when we come over this first button, nothing really happens. But two things are going to happen when I come over the second button. Let's have a look. Oh, let's just click away from here. So when I come over the second button, you can see that it changes to that other image that I told it to. So it's rolling over to that other image. And also my pointer is turning from an arrow to a hand to show me that this is a link that I can click on and it will take me somewhere. And so we can see that both the, the rollover is working and the link functionality there is working as well, which is fantastic. And if I click on it, it will just take me to where it lives in the code. So let's swap back to design view. 
and we have now got ourselves a rollover image in our navigation. And you can apply this to all your buttons to create a really smooth looking website.